I think I found my new favorite weapon. Hi everyone, this is David Jagno from UploadVR.com and I am here at Sony headquarters in San Mateo checking out some new PSVR games. And uh, here behind me you can see some footage of Farpoint, an upcoming shooter for PSVR. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about the game. Yeah, hey, I'm Randy Nolta. I'm one of the founders of Impulse Gear. We're creating Farpoint, and we're here showing off our new co-op mode today. So this is the first time we've seen two people playing Farpoint together in cooperative multiplayer. Oh, man, I, I just went down too. So can you tell me a little bit about uh, the intention of the co-op mode and how it differs from single player, and you know what, what are your intentions with that? So with the co-op mode, we're trying to increase the challenge on players. Since you're going to be playing with another player, after you've gone through the campaign, you've kind of learned the weapons, you've learned the enemies, you're playing with another friend, and all of the enemies are coming at you at full force. It's going to be much more difficult. Um, we've gamified it a bit, so as you'll see in the video here, there's, there's numbers that show up above the enemies' heads. This is a point value that you'll score per enemy that you kill. The less damage you take, the more your multiplier is going to build up, and that allows your teammates to increase their score. So we have a global leaderboard as well, as well as a friends leaderboard. So you're going to be able to compete with your friends, and you're going to be able to um, just try to improve your score constantly. Yeah, I think fans of Borderlands are going to be a fan of the, the style of the, the numbers popping up over enemy heads and the co-op multiplayer and all that kind of stuff. So the, the cooperative mode, is this entirely separate from single player, or can you play through the campaign with a friend as well? Yeah, so we decided to do the cooperative mode entirely separate from single player. We wanted the single player to be much more cinematic type experience. Um, the narrative that we're trying to convey is is much better done as a, a solo experience. Um, there's some personal events that will happen throughout, this, throughout our entire narrative that we are able to direct directly at one player as opposed to um, bringing it to two. There's a lot of internal discussion about whether we should open the single player up to co-op, but ultimately we decided to, to just make it a totally separate mode. I know that the game does support a DualShock 4 as well as the aim controller. Or do you think that aim is the preferred way to play the game, or do you think that they're both kind of comparable in different ways? In general, the aim is definitely the, the best way to play the game. Your, your precision is just, it's second to none. The DualShock 4 gives you a very good experience as well, but the aim is definitely the preferred way to play the game. Can you tell me a little bit about the single player, how, how long it is, what the story's about? Um, you know a little bit more detail about what the premise of the game is? Our campaign is kind of, uh, you kind of are introduced at the beginning to two other scientists, Dr. Eva Tyson and Dr. Grant Moon. You're pulled into this wormhole and you end up in a new space on this alien planet. And you're following in the footsteps of your two colleagues, trying to figure out what happened to them and where they are. The, the average length um, for somebody who's experienced with the game is probably around four hours. For newer players, it could easily be uh, between five to eight hours, depending on how, how long you'll spend in an individual environment. So Farpoint's slated to come out on May 16th, um, which is coming up real quick here. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah not too far, like two months away. Um, we're just slated to come out on the PSVR. Uh, we really had a great relationship working with Sony, and we're really excited about coming out on the, the PSVR headset and with the PSVR aim. Great. Well, thanks for watching, and you can check uploadvr.com for our full impressions of Farpoint and Co-op, as well as the other games here today. Thanks.